time I saw her on screen, Goldie has just inspired me. She's taught me to want more out of my life, out of my films, and she taught me to want more out of my career. And I became a producer because of her. She changed the possibilities of what women can do in film. So thank you, Goldie. These shining stars standing next to me that we call our parents, their real legacy is what they have instilled in us kids. Our tribe that they created, that they so vehemently protect and defend, the relationship they fiercely refuse to lose sight of together, and the deep feeling of love and nurturing they reserve for the most important thing we have in this life, family. So that's what these stars represent to me forever. So as we start talking about life, stardom, destiny, all the things that you say, what does this mean to you? What does this star mean to you? Does it really mean that you're a star? When, when, you, when, when you're acting there at Desilu Studios and George Slaughter, one of the loves of my life, came there and said, I think I want to talk to her. And he was the man of laughing. He started laughing. Hey, you want to go? Yeah. I just said yes. That star is part of yes. If you feel that light in your life going out, it can be blown again into flame by an encounter with another human being. Even if that human being may exist only in the magical, mystical, magnificent world of motion pictures. So thank you all for coming. I'll see you tomorrow, not as me, but as someone far more impressive as Ego the Living Planet in Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 2. See you in the movie. God bless you. Yeah,